You're watching another great catfishing video from Learn to Catch Catfish with your host, professional guide, Chad Ferguson. Catfishing TV covers tips, tricks, and information to help you learn how to catch more and bigger catfish on your next fishing trip. The ultimate resource available for expert catfishing information. After watching, make sure you visit LearnToCatchCatfish.com. Now, here's your host, Chad Ferguson. Hey, it's Chad Ferguson, LearnToCatchCatfish.com. I wanted to do another quick whiteboard video today on drop shot rigging for catfish. This is not a type of catfish rig that you're going to use on a regular basis, day in and day out, but there are certain applications where this can be a very effective way to catch catfish. I first discovered this catfish rig uh, a number of year, years ago uh, from bass fishermen. Uh, saw them fishing a real tight, heavy cover, fishing vertical straight down for bass. And I took this rig uh, in a specific situation where I found catfish that were clung real tight to some trees in deep water and I couldn't get a Santee rig or a slip sinker rig down to them and back out uh, and get those fish out because of the hangups. So I modified this rig a little bit, came up with the drop shot rigging for catfish. Um, so specifically, what this rig looks like is just like a drop shot rig for bass. The main difference is instead of uh, tying the hook and weight straight to the main line like you would in bass fishing, I like to add a swivel. This would be your main line here. And then add a length of leader line to that swivel in your main line so you have your, your heavier 40 or 50 pound test monofilament leader line for catfish to stand up for the abrasion of their mouths. I just tie a big egg sinker here on the bottom, ounce and a half to two ounces because I like a lot of weight on this and then tie my hook directly on the line using a palomar knot here just like a standard drop shot rig that you would use for bass fishing now the other option is same thing with a swivel and a sinker but instead of just tying that hook on here with a palomar knot tying a two to four inch dropper loop into this line and putting your hook, your hook sorry, on that dropper loop. And that's what I like to do when I'm using bigger pieces of cut bait or bigger live baits using this type of catfish rig. Um, I know this isn't the greatest diagram in the world. You can go to learntocatchcatfish.com, get step-by-step -step instructions, and get the de detailed diagram on how to do this with a lot better picture. So now I'm going to show you exactly when and where I would use this. So it's no secret that flathead catfish love tight cover. They love brush piles, especially big crappie brush piles where there's lots of crappie swimming around in there. In fact, every Texas state record flathead catfish ever caught was caught by somebody who was crappie fishing. So that should tell you a little bit about where those flathead catfish hang out and the opportunity to catch those big catfish. So a couple of different scenarios where I'll use this. One is big trees up underneath the water and there's a number of places that I fish where you've got these great big trees with great limbs and this is actually where I first started using this because I saw some great big trees with a couple of stick ups off of them and I look on my graph and I can see arches out like this around my graph that I could tell weren't tree limbs and I suspected that they were probably fish so I would drop that Santee rig or a slip seeker rig down in here to try to get to it. And because I had that big long leader floating around out there moving around, every time we'd try to pull back up or every time we'd hook a catfish, we'd hang up on one of these limbs and we could not get the fish out of there. So I took that drop shot rig and rigged it up with that palomar knot tied directly on the line. So I've got a big long sleek rig there without a bunch of stuff floating around outside of it to hang up and get right up on top of these trees, reel down to the bottom 
and then come back up to the depth that I'm marking these catfish on the screen. And I just take and suspend those baits right there at that level. So I may drop me a bait down here, drop me a bait down here, may drop another one down here and just let those things sit. Now some of the other applications that you can use this for, really the same thing, but a lot of times you'll find these great big brush piles out on the lake that crappie fishermen will sink. And these are absolute havens for blue catfish and channel catfish. They love to get in there and eat those crappie. If you can find something where these crappie fishermen have sank these big brush piles and Christmas trees that's on a ledge or some kind of drop off or some sort of structure, that's even better. And a lot of times when you get out to this, you'll see these great big arches right out here on the outside of these brush piles and up and down in here. So you can tie up in here and anchor out and drop that drop shot rig right down on top of or even into that cover. Obviously, the more you get into there, the more ch trouble there is getting it out, especially if you hook a big fish. But when you use this type of rig, you can get right up on these edges of these brush piles and really get in there and fish tight and try to draw those catfish out. So that's the basic behind drop shot ribbing, rigging for catfish. You probably heard lots of bass fishermen maybe even walleye fishermen and some other type of anglers talk about drop shotting for fish but a lot of people have never heard of drop shotting for catfish so the next time you get out you find some fish in this type of scenario or type find fish holding real tight on some sort of structure or cover you might think about giving a drop shot rig for catfish a try once you get done watching this video go down below leave us a comment let us know what you think and make sure you get over to learntocatchcatfish.com and check out the catfishing rigs and all the other tips and tricks that we offer at learntocatchcatfish.com. Until next time, this is Chad Ferguson. We'll see you soon.